can always find this guy floating around. It's like a bit of an inventory, if you will. Look at that beautiful animal. There's a little guy. Buddy, go on. Get out of here. We're not looking for you. Yippee! How about it? Look at that. So I can get an idea. Nah, that's definitely a boy. This, wait a second. Wait a second. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hanging out here in the front aquascape pond and uh, man, I'm really stoked. This thing is looking really, really good. Uh, been having a great time with the ponds this season and uh, my goodness, today I want to get in it and I want to pull out the pink belly side neck turtles because we've got quite a few of them in here. I want to find out how many I actually have or that I can find. And we're going to talk all about the pink belly side necks. Uh, but first we got to get these guys uh, up. They're very shy turtles. These are turtles that are from Northern Australia and Papua New Guinea and Southern Papua New Guinea. And uh, they can be very shy, but they are a very cool aquatic species that you can find in the pet trade here in the United States. In fact, they're the type of turtle that people kind of graduate to after they've done sliders and some of the North American stuff. They reproduce readily here in the United States and we gotta start finding them right now. So we've got some food in there. Here are the Badiger, but I think, I think I see one right there. Yeah, that's one right there. We're gonna go ahead and kick off our, kick off our sandals in case I wanna get wet. Let's see what we got here. I think we got one right there, friends. Can you see in there? They like to hide. Oh yeah, that's a pink belly. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. I might get lucky right here, guys. Let's try and get this one nice and gentle so that we don't scare the other one. Okay, here's our first. Oh, you got, you got, you grabbing the food, man, the ring. Oh my gosh, there they go. All right, so we got one right here. It looks like a male. This is a pretty turtle, look at that. Such a cool species. So they get their name, of course, from that pink belly and they are a side neck turtle. They're a short neck species of side neck. You'll have some snake necks that are found in South America and also in uh, Australia and some parts of Indonesia. Look at there is his male parts right there. So we know that's a male and he's sticking it on out there. My goodness. Uh, sometimes they'll do that when they're a little nervous. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place this guy in here, but what a pretty turtle. Uh, these guys are very hardy and they do well in captivity. But let's go back. I wanna remember it's, it's a bit of a mission today, and I want to catch as many as possible because I know I've got quite a few. Let's see, and they do like to hide, like I said, so let's, I'm going to be gentle and pull this one out. I think this is one of the new females we got, so we can kind of compare. Yeah, definitely a female. See how small her tail is uh, in appearance to this one, where his, the vent is closer to the tip, okay? And of course, he's got his male parts. But look at how pretty her belly is, huh? Look at that beautiful animal. So they have very nice coloration. They reproduce well and they get much larger. This female will get closer to 12 inches. So she's an egg-laying female. They can lay from 10 to 15 eggs. Um, very brittle shelled eggs. And you'll find the eggs just kind of like very kind of superficially buried in the ground, similar to these uh, North, uh, excuse me, not North American, but the uh, Asian box turtles, the Cora ambienensis. So very similar. They don't really put them too deep. Now I do see another turtle there, but that looks like, looks like a cooter that I have in here. But let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and stick my hand a little further in because today it's like a bit of an inventory, if you will. All right, let's see. Nice steady piece of log here. All right, I'm gonna go on in. I don't got anything here. You're always wondering, I always wonder if I'm ever gonna grab, oh, something I really shouldn't. Like, you know, a copper, not a copperhead, but a uh, cotton mouth. But I doubt that would happen to you. Look at this little cooter here. There's a little guy. How you doing, buddy? Go on, get out of here. We're not looking for you. Let's keep moving, come over here and see if we can find a turtle underneath here. Let's see, now this goes pretty deep. So I'm gonna go ahead and reach under and you guys get to stare at me as I do it. Oh, what do I got? What do I got? I got something, it might be a different type of, yeah, this is a Brandehorstei. Uh, this is an Emiduro also, but it is the Brandehorst turtle. Um, these guys are extremely shy, but pretty. Very similar, let's have a look. Very similar 
to our pink belly side next. A little bit more difficult to find in the pet trade here in North America, but you can kind of see the similarities, okay? They are side neck species. Their heads are very similar. These are both riverine turtles, so uh, very strong swimmers, the pink bellies. Okay, very, very strong swimmers, very beautiful streamlined shape, uh, and they can really move against currents well, but they'll also be in oxbows and kind of other places that are a little bit slower water or more still water. I'm gonna actually get on in here. I love my work. Just get on in here, see what's going on. What is this? Who is this? I think we've got another pink belly, yes. Beautiful, and you can see the variation. Check this out. You see, oh, this is another male. This is another male, but look at the difference in color. So they will have different color uh, carapaces, but wow, what a vibrant, look at his tail's got coloration on it too. That's pretty. And he's gonna show us too. So he's definitely a boy. So, okay, two boys, one female. Let me see if I can scope out anybody else in here. Oh, look at this. We've got our little Japanese wood turtle. I can always find this guy floating around. I love that turtle. Very cool turtle. I'm reaching it. Oh, I got something, guys. I got something, but I think it's this, uh, I think it's a brand of horse dye again. It might be the same one, but I'm gonna pull it out just because I've got hands on it. Yeah, see that? Get over there, please. He's gonna come right back. He's gone right back. They know where they wanna hide. Who's this now? Oh, this is a different hit, Brandon Horse Oh, get out of here. My God, they are funny, man. They go right back to the same spot. Okay. All right, so I don't see or feel anyone else over there. Oh, we've got, oh, look at this. Crocodile jaw. That's been in here a long time there. Up there is the rest of him. But let's see, I gotta go. Oh, let's pull this out. Maybe the tortoises will eat that. Ferny plant. I don't feel anything here. There's so many little nooks and crannies. So I think I'm just gonna get wet, friends. Yep. Let's get wet today. Who cares? Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's fun getting wet on a hot day. Nothing in there. Who's over here? More Badiger. Wow, that, that Japanese palm turtle made it over there pretty fast. I wonder if there's anyone under the bridge. You know, let's see if there is anybody under the bridge. No, nope, we got some stone. This is the fun part of my life, friends. Feeling around in ponds for turtles. But again, really cool species. I guess I'm gonna get even wetter, huh? Looks like the Badiger have gone down deep. I don't wanna stir this up too much. Here we go. All right, I'm looking. There's a Badiger. That's not what we're looking for today, friends. We are looking for different species. Oh. Whoa, they're not used to me being in this pond, to be perfectly honest. These are some nice ledges that I'm feeling up in. We found him again. Oh my gosh. Wow, such cool spots. Such cool, oh, turtle bumped me. Sorry guys, I'm getting bumped by the turtles. All right, lots of logs, but not feeling any turtles with my feet. Let me see if I can get down here. We still have another pond to check in the front. Not finding anybody, guys. It's also possible these animals have decided to wander out uh, onto land, because they will cross land. They're a semi-aquatic turtle, uh, but no. All right, well, I'm gonna say that we've done a pretty good job in this pond. Let me just reach under here, wait, oh, look at this. this. Wait a second, wait a second. How about it, look at that. Another male, so we got three males. He was way up under there, and this is a much smaller one. 
That's cool. This is one of the new ones we got from Dead Snake Greg. And uh, cool, so we got three males, one female. We're gonna wanna get that ratio up a little bit. Let's walk over to the other pond. And we know that these four were found in this pond, but we're gonna walk over here and see if we have any more females. Oh, look at that. Things are going well. I just wanna make sure these guys are out of the sun. Okay, they go right here. All right, we've got our underwater camera. Let's stick that right over here. Let's see if we get any cool shots, I don't know. But we've got it nonetheless. I'm gonna start over here though, in this area. Ooh, this water's a little cooler. There's not much of it that's actually in the sun. Oh. Okay. Wow, that goes deep. So crazy how far down this goes. In my arm. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can't even reach. Oh, that's good. This is so good. I think I have to go under. That is so weird, friends. Here we go. Nothing. Not a, not a thing. Oh, nope, that's a light. Holy smokes. In the meantime, there's Timmy and then one of the radiated tortoises. Timmy and Cersei's walking around over there. Hey, Timmy, come here. <laughs> Our juvenile Aldabra doing his thing. Oh, I know I have some pink bellies in here because I see them from time to time. All right, again, these guys are gonna wanna hang. This is the only way to really find the turtles is to just get wet. And like I said, today is a one day. Look at this, look at this. That's one of the large Hamiltoni that I got from my good friend Maurice Rodriguez, just hanging out here. Oh, look at this, and here's the other one, right there. So that's funny, these two aquatic turtles, they like to hang out in the grass, which is why it took so long of us to find them when we were actually looking for them up in New Jersey just a few last month. What's this? Oh, another Hamilton eye. But that's not what we're looking for, friends. We are not looking for that. We are looking for pink belly side neck turtles. What's this? What's this? Oh, if we were looking for Hamilton, I would have hit the mother load, I think, today, huh? Isn't that cute? That's a little guy. He was underneath a log. Go ahead. So awesome. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys right here so we can chat. And I can use both hands and we'll even use this camera to kind of look while I am looking for turtles underneath. We got pumps and feel the jets going, but there's a lot of little areas here where turtles could probably hide. So we're doing our best. Let's see up underneath this area here. I gotta be honest, there's gotta be more, more than one female. I definitely remember that. And what do we got? What, I think we got one, I think we got one. Oh yeah, look at this, we got Oh my gosh, another male. I am extremely male heavy and that's why I'm doing this. So I can get an idea of just how many males I have to females. And it looks like oh, we've got yet another male. That is so crazy. I know this guy's feisty. This guy's feisty. All right, let's put this one back over here and see. Holy smokes, I really thought I had more females than males, but clearly, I don't think I'm uh, going to be lucky, man. That is weird. Very strange. But again, it's okay that I'm getting in here and stirring things up a little bit. That's good. It's good for the ecosystem because all the sediment will go ahead and get lifted up and will be placed into the pump vault where it'll be filtered out in the biofalls, which is really very efficient way. And here's some methane. Okay, we have some organic material, which is fine. Uh, we've got a really cool ecosystem down in here, so I am still kind of feeling around for the turtles. I'm gonna go over here now. Hey, this isn't what we're looking for, but that's kind of cool, huh? There's our Asian box turtle, Cora ambionensis. Very neat. And these guys, for many, many years, were kept 
as box turtles. They are, but they are an Asian box turtle. And these are highly aquatic. So there you go. People were keeping them like North American box turtles. And that's no good for them because they wound up drying out and a lot of them would get sick. So good things we've learned so much in the years past. Now we got another big turtle there. It's one of those Hamiltonine. You can hear them clunking, clunking around here. And I'm feeling with my feet also, but this is really good that I'm doing this because we found out we need girls. What is that? Mars needs women? Well, these palms need female, female pink belly side necks. Well, I felt around in here. I think another place I can check is just over here. Nope, that's that ambienensis that I was actually looking around for. Holy smokes, let's go over here. Let's do it. Let's go over here and see if I have anything in this section, in this intake bay. We didn't feel far enough underneath this. Okay, nothing under there, but let's go over here. Step on up. A few months ago, I put this really nice smooth rock in and it's been working very, very well. So while I'm in here, I can pull out some of this leaf litter and help the flow. Sometimes I'll actually find baby turtles in here, which is pretty awesome because what's great about this is if I do have baby turtles and I have found baby pink necks, I have found them. Now, we did have that raccoon attack years ago, like maybe two years ago now. And uh, I know I did lose uh, a female there. It's kind of a bummer. Now, I did think I had way more than I do now, but I did find babies in here, which is awesome. Oh, look, of course, there's some more ambulances. The Cora, Asian box turtle, but I'm not seeing or feeling any more of the pink bellies. So let's go ahead and head back over here to our bucket. I'll give it one last go around as I'm in this water. To be honest, I don't want to get out of this water because it's actually a lot of fun and it feels good. It's fun to be in the water and in the weeds looking for turds, earls, that is. Uh, and here's a real cool view of Circe, who, this is what turtles see when they're on the ground. They see this vantage point and I'm not seeing any other turtles or any other pink necks out of the pond, but it's entirely possible. I just can't believe I'm so male heavy. Um, who needs guys anyway, right? We need some gals in here. Oh my gosh. Nothing. Not in there either. Holy smokes. Okay, well, let's go back and get our final tally, which sadly is not an even, an even mix. We've got five of them, five pink bellies. And I know this is a male. Whoop, sorry, dude, he flipped out. One male, that's a male. Actually, hold on a second. Uh, I still, I, I'm claiming male on this one also, because when you look at a female like this, you can see like when you compare them, we're gonna uh, just hang out guys, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can really see the difference in the tail, so. I just actually now I'm confused. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. Nah, that's definitely a boy. No, guys, I'm perplexed at the moment. I'm perplexed. I'm going to put you guys down and we're going to really compare this one to the other males that I know for a fact are male. And then I'd like your opinions too. No one's perfect here, friends. And that's what makes this so difficult. So many people, it can be tough. Just like anything else, it can be a little difficult. So let's see what we've got. Okay, here is the one. Now that's a boy. This is the one that I was concerned about, but now he's just really extended that tail and it is absolutely a male. Without any doubt, that is a male. And without any doubt, look at that. There is a female, okay? So you can really see now. Oh, they got such sharp little claws. But you can see the difference. He was just pulling his tail in. Uh, she is definitely a female. Oh my gosh. And then of course, as we go along, look at that. And even there's a male and a female, all right? And plus he showed us, so there's no confusion. And then here's the final one, the smaller one that we got. 
definitely a male as well. And you can really see the difference between the two. So here's the only female that I have. So it looks like if anyone has any females, I'd be happy to take them. I like the species. Uh, they do well in here. So as best as I can tell, I've got five and we're gonna go let her go. I like to put her right out there. Go ahead, sweetie. I'm sorry for the excitement. We'll go ahead and put one of the males back in here. Okay, so we have a male and a female in here. Very good. And then let's walk back over and get the others situated back in the other pond. So that's pretty nuts. So we're gonna need to find some females down the road. I don't act, I'm not like freaking out about it, but it would be nice to have a more balanced group of them here. Uh, it's just fun for me to, to do that, you know? So try and get a more balanced group of male to female ratios. Um, if you ever are online and looking to buy turtles and you ever see someone selling 1.1 1 .1 or 1.2, 2.1, that is the sex ratio. So that means two males to one female. The number in front is always male. And then the, you got the colon. And then you have, um, you'll then have the female number, however many there are. And then sometimes you have another colon with uh, a zero after it. That means no children, no unsexed juveniles. Um, so one, you know, 1.1.1 1 .1 would mean one male, one female, and one juvenile that is unsexed. Okay, here we go. Put this guy right back in. Boom. Later, gator. But you're not a gator, are you? Let's get this little dude. So pretty, man. Right back in. There you go. And then finally, the larger male is going swimming. See ya, dude. Holy smokes. So okay out there. There you go. Pink belly side necks, an awesome species of turtle. Omnivore crustaceans, pellets, a little bit of vegetation making up their diet, but I guess they're an omnivore with a predilection more towards uh, invertebrates, which would mean they're a little bit more carnivore on the scale of eating. But they will take uh, a variety of proteins and pellets, and every once in a while, it might nibble on the little greens, just, you know, for some vitamins. Uh, so eat your greens, kids. Anyway, that's it. Hope you guys had fun today getting wet. Uh, going diving in the front ponds, pulling out turtles. It's always exciting. You never know what you're gonna get in here. And uh, I'm always pleased to do it. Thanks so much for being a part of this channel. I'll see you guys soon. So there you have it, pink belly side neck turtles. Awesome species, can be kept by an intermediate uh, or a novice. And uh, I think that's really cool. Cool, great, see ya.